So after you got it all tucked in, you just want to you want to hot glue all the edges and hot glue the the laminate deck down to the frame. Right. Is this really gonna work? I've done it a hundred times. Well, I've been watching too much YouTube videos. I've only been called back ten. Green grass and guns. No, it's slamming it deck. You get a hold of. Come on up. Yeah, keep on coming. Well, it worked last time. Yeah, I don't know. I've always used laminate decking. It's always worked. So guys, why it happens, I'm not sure, but this deck is laid down with composite material. It's uh, maybe three quarter inches thick. It's nowhere near as strong as what needs to be down here, like two by sixes. As you can see, the mower went up here and actually fell through this trailer on Andy's day at work. That's not really something you want to run into when this trailer is your main source of income or it, uh, it supplies your main source of income. So today we're going to go out and buy new decking material for this and we're going to install a proper deck. I'm going to bring you along and show you how that's done. Because the other thing is a lot of people probably don't think of, no matter what stuff's weighted rating is for, like say the mower, if this is made for a thousand pounds, the mower weighs a thousand pounds, okay, you're good. you got to factor in every little bump, every little jostle of that mower gets lifted a little <laughs> bit, puts a lot of force back down, guys. So you got to pay attention to that stuff. So there's a big difference between static weight and impact weight. And that's something that you really need to figure into, into your materials. All right, I'm gonna take advantage of the shade while I got it. I'm gonna start ripping all these, these nuts off. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven nuts missing out of this back one. So let's get to stripping these off. All right, got a longer half inch so we can get over these. All right guys, we've already went ahead and loosened all the nuts and took the nuts off the bottom. So now all you gotta do is pop all these bolts up. So as you can see right here, the composite material really isn't that strong at all. We're getting ready to put the pressure treated lumber on here. Uh, Andy, how strong is this pressure treated lumber? Not nice. Nice, I like that. I just want to show you that this composite material is not a good choice for decking on your trailer, let alone on on decks on your on your housing decks. I've seen this time and time again. Look how look how short this piece is, and yet look at that bend in it. It uh, it's just ground up plastic or something, and it's. It's definitely not made to hold any weight. Uh, my wife's been wanting me to put this on my deck and I was like, no, no way, because I see this time and time again. Stay away from this stuff, guys. Just use the real wood. All right, we're at Home Be Depot. Uh, you're gonna want nuts and bolts for this. You're not gonna want screws because you're gonna be going through the metal. You don't really wanna screw into that. So you want nuts and bolts. Make sure you have uh, one washer because of the bolts we're going to be using and what they are you drill a hole in your wood and then this square piece you hammer down into the wood so that actually be, the wood becomes your wrench and then you put your nut and washer on the bottom there and this will suck down into the wood and hold place that way when you run over this you won't be puncturing anything you won't, no damage to anything going over it and something else that you may want to consider if you plan on hauling a bunch is actually going ahead and putting some tie downs on your trailer this will keep you from having to strap around your edges and uh, it, it just makes things a lot easier if you go ahead and get one of these two of these four of these six eight or whatever you think you need for your towing conditions okay we've picked up a, a new kid we got all of our carriage bolts nuts and washers now we need two by six pressure treated actually it's two by six by ten foot long pressure treated lumber we're gonna need 
I think eight or ten of those. I don't know. Eleven of them. We're gonna need eleven of these. You're gonna spend a little bit more money when you buy pressure treated lumber, but it's a must. You have to buy pressure treated lumber with anything that's gonna be going outside. You can buy regular lumber. You're just gonna sustain a lot of sun damage and a lot of weather damage. So spend the extra money to buy pressure treated lumber. So we're gonna get all these stacked up and head on out to the truck. Got the truck loaded up, everything's strapped down. You're a kid again. So we're gonna head home and start getting this project done. Home is cold creek. Kind of funny they thing. The flat rocks, in your feet. They threw the kid in for free. <laughs> I love this place. So these are 10 foot lengths of lumber. Uh, they measured out about 10 and a half inches. Or 10 foot. One and a half inches, so I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off the end of each one of these so that they can get in underneath these railings. You can't really see up from there, but there's a, there's a gap right here that the lumber goes into to secure down on both ends. So I'm gonna have to cut 11 pieces of one and a half inches off. Okay, we got all the boards cut down to length. We cut them just a hair short so that they can swing into the ends that they go into so that they can swing in there. And the very last piece, I'm not sure what we're going to have to I went with the word trust. It. I don't know if it's a trust. It. It's all a damn trust. It. <laughs> so we got all these cut, and uh, let's swing one in, and I'll show you how she fits. I'm pretty sure it's not a trust. It. <laughs> a trust it sounds like a metal piece you use for like a jack or something. So then, of course, women have to come in and interrupt your video all the time. What the? Okay, well, I'm never cooking for either one of you again. Sorry, Andrea. Okay, so we got the glomer cut down the length. We cut it, uh, I don't know, maybe four-eighths of an inch short, just so that it'll slide in. Maybe a half inch. I'm not sure which one. So uh, anyway, we got it cut just a little bit short so that we can swing these in. Let's see if we did a good job on that. It's a tight fit. We might have to hammer all these in, but I like the tight fit of that. This is going to work out good. So let's get the rest of these put in. in the honey Well, frankly, my dear, don't give a damn. So as you can see, as we're coming closer to center, it's all right, we're, we're starting not to be able to swing these boards in. What we're going to have to do is cut these down just a little bit shorter so that we can actually scoop it in one side and slide it back into the other. So we're going to have about a half inch to three quarters of an inch sitting on each side of these uh, supports. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna trim uh, three of these pieces down so that they'll slide in. Okay, being these are cut just a little bit shorter, you want to be sure that you have both ends sitting on a ledge. Otherwise, when you drive up on the rear of this deck, even though there's no, so we're not gonna be having anything heavy in the middle. But uh, if there was something driving up heavy on the middle. There wouldn't be any support on that very back section. So uh, 
you want to be sure and have just a little bit sitting on each side. So we're going to trim three more of these down. And starting to look pretty good. We're, we might have to rip one of these boards down to get this thing looking good. But back at it. So these new 2x6s are a little bit wider than the old crappy composite boards. So what we're going to do is just cut up a design where we have two narrower pieces on the outside of the middle board uh, just to get it to fit properly to where the uh, bolts are actually lined up down the middle of the uh, wood so That's what we're going to do right here. Alright, so we have just a little bit of space on each side of this. So we ripped down one two by six, which gives us uh, two and three quarter inches to put in between. If you can see it from there, there's a little bit of gap on each side of this. But this is a lot easier than ripping two boards down to the exact width. So we just went ahead and ripped one two by six down in half. There's uh, structurally, there's nothing wrong with this being the way it is. Okay, so now we got all the wood laid down. Now it's time to put a 5 16 drill bit through the metal holes that are already in the trailer. And, uh, yeah, being this isn't my trailer, I'm not going to be the one that's going to be laying on the ground getting sawdust in his eyes. So, hey, Andy, let's get at it. I'm at it. All right. Are you just going to lay down on a towel? You don't have a creeper? No, I don't have a creeper. I thought you were a man. I am a man. Cause real men take their damn shirts off and they crawl down on the damn concrete like real men don't use creepers. My dear, I don't give a damn. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we got half of it done now. Some of them aren't quite completely center, but that's uh, the best we can do with what we're dealt with right now. He's still down there tightening up some of those uh, carriage bolts. And what you just want to do is just, just sink the top down into that wood so that uh, the nut on the bottom of that will get into that wood and that way you can back it back out when you need to and it'll stay put. So we're just finishing up this side and I'll bring you back when we're all finished. So guys, we've got the trailer all done tonight. The lighting isn't very good out here. Uh, you can either get a, a light bulb over my head or something else over here. So the trailer's all done. See, this? the lighting's just horrible. The sun is... That's just a bright moon. So, uh... You know, I hope I helped you out in putting decking down and new decking down in a trailer. Thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment if you want. Give me a like. Hit the subscribe button. And thanks for stopping by Guitars Girls and Green Grass and Guns. I'm out. Guitars Girls, Green Grass and Guns. Hey Danny, how strong is this pressure treated lumber? Do it again. You just called this Danny. Shit. <laughs> On the video before it, he just used music from uh, Adobe. Shh.